halftone today and does halftone uh, matter when you're doing photo engraving so I've got set up on the computer a couple of examples that I wanted to try out um, I've got one that's going to do an angle of 62 degrees on the halftone and another that's going to do the angle at the standard uh, default setting which is 22 and a half degrees these both are set at 200 cells per inch they're set at 300 dpi and i've done the same uh, adjustment or calibration to the uh, uh, photos uh, themselves so everything else is identical the only difference is the scan angle so let me show you what we got going here um, Yep, move that out of the way. Let's see. Flip you around. All right, so I've got in here a sheet of MDF card, um, hardboard, uh, that's what they call it. Um, buy it on Amazon, it's fairly inexpensive. Uh, now I want to put that in place and hold it still, so I am going to affix it with a magnet or two so one right there and there's a magnet over here that I got to pick up these are double stacks so they're a little tough to get off of the uh, the grate uh, we'll do one more right there that should hold that fairly still I've already focused this up so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set you in here I'm gonna go ahead and get our origin set that looks good there now up here I'm gonna bring up the file okay that's our file see I've got two different layers going um, technically three with the, the markings telling me which is which wait for that to come up and then we'll frame it out All right, let's take a look, frame it out, and see if we got enough room on this piece. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Should be perfect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down in here. Try to get you, oh, don't get the magnet on your phone. Not cool. Let me frame it one more time, make sure we're not gonna hit the uh, phone. Oh, we're gonna come close, but we're not gonna hit it. So here. Check it out as we go. This can take about five minutes. Awesome, which I totally squished the bottle in the laser today. Real brilliant of me. I set it to uh, auto <clears throat> auto focus on a material, and when I did that, it uh, <laughs> I didn't see that this was in here up against the front wall, and it it totally bent the crap out of it. Ah, uh, you know what? The, okay, so here's the thing that I'm seeing first off, right? The 22 and a half, I can see this tree way better. However, the 62 degree, the detail that is there just seems to be sharper. Now, 
this being such a compact board, you know, uh, maybe we need to go bigger to see a difference. So let's do that. But I'm going to change images. I want to change to a, a more black and white image. I'm going to leave that one right where it landed because it'll help hold it down. That one there. Actually, I'm going to slide it up. So we get one up on that corner, one down on this corner, holding that down there. Uh, I've got a single magnet here. I want one more set on here, so I'm going to grab my stack of magnets that I have, peel one off with the spacer there. I'm going to attach it to this magnet, which Got to be careful, it'll snap your fingers, uh, or worse, it will slam the magnet uh, into the other magnet when you let go and shatter them. Ask me how I know. Uh, no, don't. It's, it's embarrassing. All right. All right, let's see. So. What I'm going to send over this time are these two images. Now, uh, the question is, should I make them bigger? Right now, we're sitting at like six inches. Let's grab our measuring tape. See how much room we got. We got almost eight. Um, Eight by less than seven and a half. So these right now being three inches tall each. Uh, could we go taller? Yeah, we can go a little taller. Okay, let's do this. Move this one down, make it four inches. Make this one four inches. Up, line those up, send that to the laser, all right, can you see a difference there? Remember, this one's at 62 degrees, this one's at 22 and a half, the standard newspaper print, I don't know. There? Maybe not. Preview? Who knows? It's gonna take about 12 minutes for this one. So, hang on tight. Here we go, huh? Well, let's line it up. All right, all right. Uh, first, bring up the file here. Okay, that's it. Bring it up. All right. Let's bring our head down. Okay, so we need to slide this magnet up. Oh, not quite that far. Slide it just slightly off the edge there. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna have to set you guys down while I do this. Just want it barely on there. Just so that when this head swings by, it doesn't hit. Oops! Didn't send the right thing. Give me one second, guys. Always look at your preview. Make sure you selected everything. Alright, bring that up again. Alright, this is going to load. We'll frame it out. Here we go. Just barely gonna make it. So, I'm gonna put you guys maybe off to the side. Like so. There, give you kinda that view. I'm gonna move you just ever so slightly because 
I don't want you to get hit by the laser and I don't know how far it's gonna move past the engraving. Probably not as far as I put you, but anyways, here we go. Uh -huh. Let's take a look. Move the head out of the way. Now, uncleaned. That's the 62. <clears throat> that's the 22 and a half. All right, let's get them clean real quick. That's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, debris to come off, but that's to be expected. All right, move our magnets. Yeah, I don't know. At least on MDF, at this <clears throat> resolution, I don't see a whole lot of a difference, do you? Look at the whiskers, and then look at the whiskers. Can you even tell which one I'm looking at? If you were to guess, is that 22 and a half or 62? Is that 22 and a half or 62? Okay, so this one, this area looks cleaner. By the way, look how small this really is. That's my pointer finger, just for reference. And I don't have giant fingers, so <laughs> I have normal sized fingers, I think. I don't know. Um, I don't know, look at that area, and then look at it on the 62. Is there a big difference? I'm not seeing one. And this is just on the surface. I mean, we're not really engraving into it. Um, there's a tiny bit of a lip uh, at the sides, but not much. I mean, we could decrease the power and just try to discolor the wood. Could be fun to try. Um, we're at only 15% power. Let's take a look. Yeah, both of those 500 milliseconds, millimeters a second, milliseconds, that's funny, 500 millimeters a second and 15% power. Now I could drop that power to 12%. I could even increase the speed and we could try something else. Uh, I'm running out of real estate on this piece, but I got a little bit of room back here. 
So, I say we do that. Let's go ahead and see if we can't run that same file faster and at a lower or a higher ah, lower power, faster speed. Higher speed, lower power. I'll get it out eventually. All right, let me go make those changes and then we'll bring it back. All right, one second. So I'm gonna do one of the tigers. I'm not gonna do both, but I am gonna do one. I'm gonna do the uh, the uh, 62 degrees. Um, so if I bring that file up, okay. Now this time, uh, hopefully with this lower power and faster speed, we won't engrave it all. We'll just affect the color of the material. We'll see how it goes. All right, so let me set you back in here. We're going to frame this baby up. into the wood I swear this stuff is so porous it's like a damn sponge now <laughs>